What up, Pisces? It is I, Magic Team Magician Tarot. You can like, share, and subscribe below. Big ups to my fellow Pisces. Bloop, bloop. This is a general reading. Today is Tuesday the 14th, so we're going to be reading for December for the next 48 hours from the 14th to the 16th. Let's get into it. Okay, the Hermit in the reverse could be dealing with a little bit of anxiety. Craving more time alone. Craving a bit more introspection. Again. One more time. Happy holidays whatever you celebrate if you do celebrate if you don't celebrate hope you're excited about the coming of a new year all right we got the queen of wands coming out of the gate so there could be a fire sign on your mind or in your midst that's having an effect on you could be a little bit of attraction for sure could be admiration could be just vibing on a, on a creative level this could be also maybe a friend that's on your mind they could have rejected a love offer or you rejected a love offer from them. Or there was just a curious, cur some sort of curiosity there that went nowhere. Then we have a Six of Swords here. So yeah, you definitely packed up from whatever that was and were friend zoned. Or you put that person in the friend zone. Or there could be a fire sign in your midst if it's a new person that you just are not considering romantically. And you may not even be aware of their affections if that is the case. Okay. Just seeing we have a six of wands though. So currently, you know, in a spirit of personal victory. Putting yourself first. This could be why you're not paying attention to this if it is a love offer. Okay. Then you got the five of cups. I'm getting a sense that you could be jaded, you could be feeling closed off. You got a two of pentacles in the reverse, so not dealing well with work-life balance for sure. <clears throat> or holding something too close to your chest where you're not letting people in. You're having sort of a uh, pers public persona and then a um, inner life. Could be thinking of a, an earth sign. Could be a mother figure. But could just be somebody who is... Accepting, kind, warm, and could be a Taurus, could be Capricorn, could be a Virgo. They want to work together with you or celebrate with you, but you, with the Nine of Cups in the reverse here, associate them with some sort of uh, tie that you're not comfortable with. Because you got your cups in the reverse here. What is that about? Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. You're done putting time into that connection. What do they think of you? The moon in the reverse. Or the moon just in general. 33 on the clock. Yeah, they think that they'll never understand you. You think you'll never understand them. You're hiding this feeling from them. Yeah, four of cups in the reverse. You would not... If you have had a falling out with this person... You would rather, like, be alone forever. Here we go with the King of Cups wanted to come out. <clears throat> so King of Cups, such a King of Cups thing to think and feel for you, Pisces. That you would rather never, like, eat again. <laughs> you would rather never breathe again, almost. Like, my hands are sweating as I say that. You would rather walk over the glass or the hot coals then forgive them. You're this much in your feelings and with this four of cups, it's not like not even, not only are you dissatisfied with them, it's like such a dis, dis, disappointment turned to disgust. Okay, could be a pain. Again, there could be their immaturity, their lack of wanting to invest time. You're just over it. <laughs> you're like, all of your behavior, it's just not cute anymore. Okay. So we're going to do one more to clarify this. <clears throat> What's going to happen in the next few days then with this person? It 
could be a romantic situation, but like I said, it could be somebody that you're no contact with or you're estranged with. Yeah, the chariot in the reverse. Yeah, you have made up your mind, Pisces. You're never going to forgive this person. And forgiveness is a very difficult burden to carry and a heavy burden to carry. So temperance, like, you do understand that and maybe you're trying to fight yourself on that. But you're in a state of two minds where you're like, okay, yeah, 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 forgiveness, yeah, 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 hatred's bad. But I, but that's still not for me. <laughs> it's like you're saying, yeah, 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 sure, 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 for someone else, not for me. I don't want to do that. Not for this person, at least. Yeah, nine of swords. This person keeps you in your head all the time. You're, I almost wanted to cuss. I'm so mad. <laughs> They make you so mad that you start cussing, you start fussing, you get really in your feelings. And you're just not having it with this Nine of Swords, with this person. Queen of Cups. Okay. Definitely could be a situation involving another water sign. Um, Very specific situation, but it could be a sister. For me, it's my sister. Sometimes when I feel like it could be me that the cards are talking to or somebody else could be going through something super similar. I don't really say it, but like sometimes I do say it and I feel like it's one of those moments where if you're out, if you have somebody who is younger than you, friend, sister, daughter, that you think of as an extension of yourself, you could be really upset about what's going on with them. And it could be a situation where the earth sign could be your mother. Has you feel like caused a rift, or you feel that this person is important and has caused a rift in the relationship you have with whoever this earth sign is, or they are concerned with another water sign? Okay, oof, okay, it's not over though. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it's still not freaking over with this ten of swords in the reverse. Oh my god, oh, money problems. Okay. This person could be in a very bad way, this other water sign. Or you could still be in a situation where you still don't have the bag. Like, you have a dangling carrot type offer. You have to jump in, and you may not necessarily want to. Like, I have this cold feet feeling yet. Not all is apparent. Not all has been revealed yet about that opportunity, the financial opportunity. All right, so there could be another path. You see, you have your single pentacle here. You have a page here offering you another single pentacle, but it's in a, it's in the infancy. And this could be somebody that you really do not want to trust. But are we sensing a theme here, Pisces? The theme is distrust. At some point, you have to decide which one is the lesser evil. Because if this is a family situation, it's not like one person's right and one person's wrong. It's just that you do not like what went down. You do not agree with what went down. You're morally opposed to what went down. Now you're struggling right now and you're having flashbacks to how you used to struggle and also how this person has never really been there for you. So you have these ace of pentacles in the reverse here. It's almost like you were trying to do something for them to see you as more financially viable or something like that and by them I mean whoever this earth sign is it doesn't necessarily have to be like a family situation it could be straight up romance you could have an earth sign that you're still busting your ass to try to get them to respect you or give you the time of day yes you know this person is interested or at least you know this person wants to give you an exchange because now I'm talking about something else, but like you had these underlying trust issues, literally underlying <laughs> this other situation where you have the high priestess coming out. You have an ace of swords in the reverse. So you know, whatever you, whatever this untruth is, you know what it is. <laughs> and it could be a crush. Ten of wands, you're burdened by this. You're burdened by this knowledge that maybe the other person doesn't want to admit. Queen of swords here in the reverse. Okay, could be also burdened by an air sign who is in your midst 
who is not upright, who is not forthright. They could have inner child issues. This little cherub in the seat. They, okay, yeah. Hmm, interesting. Okay, we have a ton of pentacles here though. Okay, so you could have a partnership with an air sign and it's tentative. And that is why you're second guessing yourself and second guessing yourself based on your decision to go no contact, cut off someone who is an earth sign. There's, there's definitely, no matter what the specifics are, you are perturbed right now <laughs> by some of the secretive and emotionally unavailable behavior around you. You're moving the F on toward these mountains like you're done. All these people's cups that are empty in the back, like those are not your cups. You took your own cup and moved the F on with it. That's so lame. I don't know why I keep saying the F. <laughs> you know what I want to say, Pisces. You move the fuck up on. Look at this. You're moving on. To what? Okay. False bravado. <laughs> Perfect, Pisces. This is the point where we need to ask for guidance. There could also be a Scorpio in your midst. Again, we've had two different references to a Scorpio that you're thinking about you're feeling about and then we have the death card here in the reverse so we could know that a particular situation is a dead end based on a past relationship with a scorpio we could feel that the relationship with a scorpio is a dead end or that the person is dead to us because of their un unavailability okay overcoming obstacles oh man okay if you're dealing with anybody right now who is out on the street literally or who is in the grips of an addiction or who is in the grips of an abusive relationship or in their own closet this person is overcoming obstacles pisces you already done overcome them that's why you're no <laughs> you're like not anybody's cheerleader right now you are i hate to say this but like you're kind of like the rancho carne toros right now it's so unrelated and so weird but i'm gonna say it okay you're like everybody on the rancho carne toros if you know about bring it on, you know about bring it on. If you don't, bye. Get out of here anyway. All right. The naysayers and the people who decided to go on with the routine that had already been stolen. Like, you're like, this is an original. Like, you don't believe in them. You go, you go to their, oh my God. Like, you're so mad at whoever is going through all these other obstacles you've already been through. <clears throat> you're looking down on them and you're refusing to be their cheerleader but at the same time you're upset about the fact that they can't level up and get on your level distant thunder clear the air there's things unsaid that's why i don't think i've ever seen this card clear the air there's a lot you don't want to say because you've become closed off to this person and you feel like they have to do this overcoming the obstacles on their own and also, I get the feeling that if this is a family situation, like you have an older generation of family, you have a newer generation of family, every family does, but you have right now a, a big rift. Cleansing waters, purification activates vibrant life force. Even when you say purification, try to say purification, like, you know, without being mad, like I just said it right there, but like sometimes, yeah, purification takes, it takes some sort of abrasive filter that you have to go through to come out on the other side. Activates vibrant life force. It's almost like, this is really gross to say as well, but like exfoliating. <laughs> it's kind of a nasty thing, but like getting the dust out of your room, getting the dirty laundry out of your room, that kind of stuff, like clearing the air with people, all this kind of stuff is robbing you of the joy you used to take out of other people's transformation because other people have taken you, yeah, choosing your path. You feel that other people have robbed you of paths in the past because of your overgiving nature. These are a lot of oracles here, but one more just because. Uncovering treasure. Beneath the surface lies great bounty. Okay, Pisces, two messages. One, you probably need to stop... Um, 
thinking that what you have is so much more than what other people potentially could give. Like, yes. Okay, so on one side, you need some brutal honesty. Like, you're not that hot shit anyway, Pisces. <laughs> well, you're trying to come to that point. You're trying to kill your ego with this overcoming treasure or un uncovering treasure in the reverse. So it's almost like you're overcoming your own sense of what I have inside is so important. I need to protect it against all odds. <laughs> and anybody who wasn't team me my whole on my path, you know, like is against me. Maybe that's nece not necessarily the truth. And it's hard for me to even say that as a Pisces. And that's why I love doing this. That's why I love y'all. All right. Magic Team Edition Tarot. Like, share, and subscribe below. Let me know if anything does resonate with you in those comments, which I read where the comments at. Keep them coming.